today we are going to be looking at the Faco 9501 soldering pencil which uh, suits the T12 soldering cartridges and we're going to map out the connections between the plug and the handle to uh, just create a point of reference for you guys that may be having issues with uh, your soldering station just to make certain that we rule out the soldering pencil is probably causing issues or not as it were. Okay the soldering pencil comes with a five pin mini DIN style plug as you can probably see there. Uh, it does have a keyway which is normally oriented to the top of the socket when applied to the soldering station and we have in a counterclockwise direction pins one two three four and five so with that noted we will see um, how these pins get terminated in the handle keeping in mind your mileage may vary but uh, these soldering pencils there's many many different types and makes on the market but uh, my unit pretty much basically just slides apart with a bit of pushing on the end cable here. Sometimes it just needs a little bit of a tap. All right, it's pretty much flush now. So hopefully, there we go. And that reveals the internal connections of the handle. So we'll take the multimeter, pop it in continuity mode, and we'll then probe out each of the pins, starting with pin one, and see where we end up on the plug end. So that's in pin one. We'll double check our tone. Beautiful. And we'll just start probing the handpiece. Nothing, nothing there. Top of, top of the switch. Okay, that's the top of our switch. So let's mark down pin one as the switch. Two, three, four, Five. Go to pin two. Next one counterclockwise from the notch. Okay, this particular handpiece has a thermistor. Oh, that's the top of the thermistor. So that's the NTC. It has a little uh, temperature sensor in the handle, which is basically selectable via an option in the firmware in the soldering station. All it is is just an ambient temperature um, in relation to the handle. That's it. So we'll call that NTC, ambient. Okay, pin Okay, pin three is the lower, lowest most connector on the barrel. So there you go. Pin three directly connects to the case of the T12 cartridge or the barrel, whichever you like to call that. So it's the, let's call it the earth. So earth, I'll just call it barrel. Okay, so that's that. That's pin three. So let's move to pin four. Okay, pin four seems to be the middlemost connector. Yeah, so you've got your bottommost connector, which is your barrel, your middlemost connector, which is your second band, and then on this, um, on the other side here, you've got your topmost connector which will go to an interface of the top band. So this one is most definitely the middle band here. So we will call that, that is actually ground. So that's our ground interface. And then pin five, with any luck, should be our topmost connector, which will be this one here, which is the one furthest away from our, well, our handpiece. And sure enough it is. Just make sure there's no other connections throughout, top of the switch, top of the thermistor, no. So the only connection is the top band in relation to our T12 cartridge. So we'll call that V plus for our voltage in. Now that's been uh, determined, we have to look at where our switches are connected, or well, the switch and the NTC. So we've got the pins saying pin one and pin two connect to the top of our switch and the top of our NTC uh, thermistor. 
So looking at here, our switch is actually connected between pin one and pin three. Pin one and pin three. The NTC is connected between pin two and ground. So pin two and pin four. So we'll have pin two come in from the plug into the top of the NTC, which is under this piece of heat shrink that you probably can't see. There's a bit of heat shrink there. You can just see the bottom half of the NTC there, and that comes in at the same point where ground meets the uh, T12 connector. I'll throw up a small schematic showing how this one's particularly set up, and then we can just double check that I'm not uh, blowing the smoke, so to speak, and we will make sure that this unit does actually work. So we'll put our, this is a BL tip, T12-BL, and we'll see once this fires up. Here we go. There we go, we've got some smoke there. And we're at our temp, and we're good to go. So as soon as we take our cartridge out, we enter an error state, and some of you folk um, looking at some of the comments saying that you've got these delivered and they just errored straight away, regardless of how you had this set up. Uh, it's more than likely the type of pencil you got with your unit, or if you did get the FACO 9501, it could be incorrectly wired at this end. So use the, my diagram that I'll flash up shortly and just double check your wiring in your pencil, in your um, soaring iron, and just see if it's the same. And if there is any difference, try, try correcting it and then see if your unit works. Nine times out of 10, that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be an issue with your soldering pencil. Anyway, give it a go. So here you go, leave comments down below and I'll be happy to answer any, any questions. Now, I'm only familiar with the 9501, but if you have any other variations, um, hit, my, hit me up on my Twitter, send me some photos, and we can have a discussion and uh, see if we can find any differences uh, between what you might have and what I've shown today. All right, thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content and want to see more reviews, repairs and general maker stuff, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. Also consider following me on LBRY, otherwise known as Library, where you can find the exact same content while contributing to the channel. Thanks for watching.